everybody. Today is tie-dye day and I'm wearing my tie-dye shirt. Every year my family and I make a tie-dye shirt. So I wanted to show you our shirts. This, this is a shirt that Jasmine made. And this is a shirt that Diana made. Each one looks very different. If you went to summer camp, you probably have a tie-dye shirt, but if not, don't worry. Just wear something colorful. Today I'm going to be reading a book to you about a superhero bunny that I think you're really going to like. Super Fab Saves the Day Superfab was really super. He lived in a super rabbit hole with a super living room where he read super books. He even had a super kitchen where he made his super spicy pumpkin carrot soup. But best of all, Superfab's super rabbit hole had... A super walk-in closet. Hmm, what should I wear today? Nope, too old. That's totally out of style. No way. I can't go out looking like this. They'll call me Super Carrot for sure. Being the best dressed superhero sure took a long time. So long that... By the time Super Fab finally arrived at the scene of crime, another superhero with a super costume would have already gotten the job done. Everyone got tired of Super Fab always being late. They called him less and less, and then they stopped calling him at all. Super Fab became super sad. Then one day the red phone rang again. Hmm, it must be the wrong number. Super fat thought to himself. But a voice shouted over the phone, Help, Super Fab! A monster is attacking the city, and he won't leave until it is completely destroyed. Finally, thought Super Fab, justice and good taste are going to save the day. Super Fab wanted to be super efficient, so he only changed his costume three times before heading out. He made it downtown in less than an hour. A new record, he cried. Wow, those are super gloves. Where'd you get them? the monster said. I made them myself, Super Fab replied. I want them! Hand them over! Hmm, I don't know. I stayed up a few nights in a row making these gloves. I took forever to design the pattern, choose the fabric, stitch them together. Please, I'm begging you. I just have to have those gloves. Well... Okay, on one condition. What's that? You must leave our planet right away. That's impossible. I am the destroyer. I can't leave until everything is destroyed. Oh, well, I guess you're out of luck. Super Fab took off one of his gloves and pretended to chew on one of the fingers. Immediately, the monster shouted, Please, no! Stop! I'll do whatever you want! 
As soon as the destroyer ship had disappeared into space, everyone came to congratulate Super Fab, the superhero who had defeated a giant just by removing a glove. When he got home, Super Fab reached for his super cell phone. The destroyer's surprise face filled the screen. Super Fab asked him excitedly, Where did you get your super hood? It's so retro. My mom made it for me. The monster replied proudly. Would you like her number? Yes, please. That would be super. So today we are going to be making a rainbow with just four simple materials. Paper, a recycled CD, tape, and scissors. So the first step is to get your CD and place it on a piece of paper and then trace around the circle. Once you've traced the circle, then you're going to get your scissors and you're going to cut around until you have a circle. Once you've made your circle, then you're going to fold your circle in half and then you're gonna fold it again until it looks like this. Then once you have it folded just like that, we're gonna kind of cut it out like you would cut out a paper snowflake. And there's no um, you know, wrong way to do this. You can just cut triangles, um, or lines, cut wherever you want to to create your design. And then once you're done, this is what mine looked like. So the last thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna tape your paper snowflake to the CD. on all four sides. And then one more piece of tape on the other, the last side. And there you have it. And hang this on a string in preferably a place where there's a lot of sun. And then you have your rainbow.